Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolf Doubt Fallout 4 Settlement Builder series. I am Roaring the Werewolf, and I'm going to take you through the final installment of my Anna's Red Rocket Garage rebuild. Because I started a new, new gameplay save, just to test it out, and update this game. You know the story if you've seen the past two iterations of this uh, video. So, there has been some changes since the second one. And I, I didn't go into extreme detail on certain things. I just wanted to get it done so I could move on to Abernathy Farm. Because that is going to be quite a task trying to remake all of that um that settlement into something like lore friendly but also astounding so as you can see the sign behind me is completely finished it's all lit up Anna's Red Rocket Garage Robot and Power Armor Repair General Goods and Coffee Slash Donut Shop here at the Red Rocket Settlement so let me go ahead and walk you through. In order for me to power these lights and the sign up, I did the same thing like I did last time by sticking uh, power conduits into the ground and having cables run through them under, un, under the ground itself. So it would go unnoticed. And that goes from... Mm, from this building where the power generator is set at all the way around all the way to the bus trailer over there okay we have every single settler we need which is currently 12 let me go ahead and pop in the settlement build menu 12 people generating 12 food 29 water power 108 defense 48 and nine beds everything is in white happiness is 75 steady i don't worry about happiness in my builds i just want it to look good and i want the settlers to function properly which is the reason why i had to undergo some changes now we have a garden right up here now these are for decoration but the gardening uh, for six items for one settler uh, farming is right here. It has odd herbs and plants like the gourd flower and the melon flower and the tato flower, the hub flower. I got one wild moot fruit tree. So I have it all added up to six because as you well know, one settler can only farm six food and the gentleman that does this farm is right here as you can see he's slightly a plant connoisseur and he stays in this little tiny hut i didn't want to go overly too big on the decoration he has his own little uh heating plate to cook uh, some booze and it looks like he was in the middle of eating his noodles but he can pretty much walk right out here and start farming there's scraps uh, the scrap bot that works at the scrapping station you open this door and we have our settlers working on some crops been growing pretty good lately some areas one guy seems to be working on a robot hand uh, a ghoul is working with nuclear looking for trouble I hope nuclear material and there's a settler that should be here working on a motorcycle but he's not here currently Here's where some of the settlers sleep. It looks like this one 
is not at work. Why are you not at work? What time is it in game? I thought I showed the time somewhere. Oh, there it is. 8.46. You should be at work or something. Though, even though the settlers are able to get up to these beds, they don't go up the stairs. They go underneath and just glitch up here. I don't like that, but they do that. Well, speaking of which, I've actually seen settlers up here. Hmm. Yep, there's one. Uh, seems like I don't have his pathing all set. Might have to do some tweaks before I move. What the? Really? Get, get down. Get down. There you go. Now snap back in. Hmm. It looks like I need to do some work. That's I had it working just fine not too long ago. Oh well. Alright, I have another person working on some ramek out here. Here's the armor workbench. Raiders thought we were easy pickings. We showed him different. Don't tell me he glitched back up there. Please don't tell me he glitched back up there. <laughs> Chemistry station, weapons workbench, ammo station, and where my power armor is currently settled at. Which I will eventually move it when I do move to a different settlement. Get up there. Yeah, he's back up there. Frack. It has something to do with the beds. Maybe if I move the bed formation differently. Like, like there, and then move theirs, move that one, like that, because she sleeps in that bed. Push him off. Push him off. Come on. Push him off. Push him off. Push him off. Okay. Get up there. Mm. I hate these settlers sometimes. Get, snap back in. Snap back in. There you go. He jumped back up there. You mother. Oh. Oh, I hate you. I hate you with a passion. How are you? Fuck it. I'll, I'll get to you later. I'll get to you later. Okay, back to what I was doing. Alright, we have garden all set up. An actual garden that has carrots, 
corn plants and this settler takes care of this uh, six we got a melon a gourd two potatoes two corn two slit peas I think that's one that they're, they're called and two carrots she resides in this little house really close by Here we have the general good shop. Walk you through all that. I did I a couple of changes in here. I, had clean fingernails. I reinstalled Do It Your Shelf, a mod that adds uh, items that you can place on these shelves to look a little bit more immersive. His room where the general good shop guy sleeps. A couple people are in here City one of these days. having dinner. Biggest town I ever saw. A couple of items up for sale that have been repaired. I'm starting to think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. We have a ghoul working on welding in here. A couple of power armors that have one has been completed and one has yet to find all the pieces. Little car. Here's the workshop. Here we have a junk workbench from another mod that allows me to build junk items. Outside we have our power armor stations where people come in, bring their power armor, get it to work uh, to be repaired. We also have a decontamination arch where they can wash the radiation off of themselves and off their power armor. How wonderful it'd be to get out of this infernal rain. Now, I had to place all these boxes in this location because settlers kept on wanting to walk through this. Uh, that's right, I gotta look up a settlement, a settler pathing mod if it does exist. So, in order for me to do that, I had to block this way. And now they go around. Let's go into the coffee and donut shop. Where it looks like the farmer that was working on the herbs is stuck in here for some apparent reason. Move. We have huh? an arcade. A soda mixer. Cooking station. Coffee station. And donut fryer. All in this location. Why? I just want to trade a few things. Of no, course. no, I don't. No. I just want to get through this shit. Now, I got rid of the boxcar home because I it's because the settlers that were working on the farms kept on wanting to go around out here to reach their little beds. So I decided to make this boxcar area into a storage and laundry room where they have all various types of storage. They can come in here and do their laundry and extra food storage. Also have these little table patios out here for people to enjoy. Here's where the robot uh, station is, where you can build robots and repair them. And we have our iPod station all activated now through pipes leading all the way around from the, from the warehouse right here. Coming through conduits underneath here, up there on the roof. Let's hop on the roof real quick. Mm hmm. Yeah. I can make that. Alright, hopping on the roof real quick, powering up the sign. Coming right down right here. And 
underneath here on the side coming through up above so we can power up lights up here and through here right behind there all the way to this iBot station powering up settlements and laying out the power conduits and the wires is troublesome especially if you want it to look as less intrusive as possibly can then we have the ghoul uh, bus trailer there's not a lot of things in here just a bed shelves a couple items on the shelves for the ghouls to you know at least have a little bit of a home and then we have our outhouses of course we need people in the, go to the restroom We have turrets outside at various points where uh, enemies like to... Oh, I didn't finish that bit. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take care of it later. Yeah. Raiders and all kinds of other, other people like to come and shoot up the place. Uh, while building this, I had two attacks on this place. Well, that's quite fine. We managed to handle ourselves quite easily. But there you have it. Anna's Red Rocket Garage for robot and power armor repair. Managed to settle this up quite nicely. Now I just need to fix a few things. <laughs> Uh, all right well if you guys like the video comment subscribe if you so feel like it you guys stay furry and i will see you all in the next video bye